Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So sorry for the mess in the background. Um, I'm having a day of just like getting stuff done and washing is one of those things on that list. So I've got piles of washing behind me. So let's just ignore that. Um, it's currently like 11 o'clock and I thought I would vlog today. I have got to wait in the flat until one o'clock because I'm getting a new fridge freezer delivered. So yeah, they basically told me it was going to be delivered between nine and one. So I got up this morning, showered, got ready. I've had breakfast and stuff and I've just been like pottering around the flat, like getting some cleaning and stuff done. Um, so yeah, I've got to wait in until one and then later on I need to pop into town to get a few bits. And I also want to show you guys um, some bits from Zaffle that I very kindly got sent later on in this vlog because I'm obsessed with everything. Uh, most of it I've already worn and taken the labels off of but yeah I will sit down like later on this afternoon and talk to you guys about that and show you what I got and I've also got a discount code to share with you as well. I also filmed a clip the other day when I got a Tesco delivery turn up and I thought I would show you guys um, what I got in my delivery so uh, I will insert that clip here. Okay, so my food shop has just turned up. I got my Tesco delivery um, and I've just laid it all out so I can show you guys what I get when I do like a uh, online food shop. So toilet roll and a big pack of Diet Cokes because I love having these in the fridge. I always drink Diet Coke. Um, and when I go to the supermarket and I like walk to my local one, I can never get stuff like this because I can't carry it. Um, anyway, that's kind of boring, but now we've got the fun stuff. So I'm gonna start off with fruit and veg. Um, again, usually I tend to just get my fruit and veg like in the shop, like I walk to the shop and get my fruit and veg. And I usually just save this like online shop for heavier stuff. But this week I just thought, I'm just gonna get it all in one. So anyway, I've got some wild rocket. I've got um, a big, big old thing of broccoli. I've got some loose carrots, which they've like wrapped up in this little bag. Um, I've got some baby plum tomatoes, cause I'm gonna make that feta pasta again, cause I haven't had it in ages and I'm really craving it. Um, I got a pack of apples and then I also got a pack of bananas and I, I'm not kidding you. When I say these are the biggest bananas I've ever seen, like look at the size of my, it's like three times the size of my hand, like honestly crazy um i got two of my favorite milks which i'm so happy about because i actually haven't had any milk today so i haven't been able to have a cup of tea or anything so uh yeah i've got two of my favorite oat milks uh then moving on to like dairy stuff i saw this on the tesco website and i thought i need to try it it is the dairy collective uh plant-based fudge yogurt which i'm so excited to try it it looks kind of gross actually um but the dairy version of this yogurt is like the best thing ever so i thought i'd give the vegan version a go um and i then got these because i am a child uh they are just really really delicious like apricot and banana yogurts so i got those to have like breakfast and stuff um i then saw this which i got excited about and thought i'd give it a go it's a vegan chicken and mushroom pucker pie so that's gonna be interesting uh yeah then dairy stuff i've got a block of feta because i'm gonna have that uh, in like a pasta dish. I then got some grated cheddar. I usually just get a block of cheddar, but it was like two for three pounds on loads of different cheese. So I got grated cheddar. Um, and then I also got a pack of cheese slices just cause these are really good to have like lunches and stuff. So yeah, it was like two of those for three pounds. So I got those. And then I saw these uh, corn mozzarella and pesto escalops, which I thought I'd try. Um, so yeah, thought they'd be nice for a dinner one evening. I've then got some random cupboard bits. So I've got golden vegetable rice, which I just like to have in the cupboard. Um, I got some tins of tuna, tuna chunks in spring water. And yeah, before anyone asks, I do eat fish. Um, I didn't used to, but I do now. Um, I got some of these noodles. These are honestly the cheapest things ever and they are so good. I really, really like these. So I got a chicken flavor and also a curry flavor. I then got some more cupboardy bits. So I got some baked beans, just the Heinz sugar free, no added sugar. I got some olive oil because I needed some. And then I picked up these. I haven't had these in so long, but I just fancied them uh, and I thought to get them, they were like a pound. So got some Cocoa Pops cereal bars. That's like all of that stuff. Then we've got some frozen bits. So I saw this and I thought I'd give it a go. It's an Aunt Bessie's meat free toad in the hole. I thought that could be quite nice. Uh, I got some meat free mints, like the plant chef ones. These are really cheap and they're really good. And I've got some potatoes that I need to use. So I'm going to make like, I don't know, cottage pie or something. And then got some pizzas. I got a uh, ristorante, is that how you say it? I don't know, one with mushrooms on. And then I got ham and pineapple. Don't kill me, don't come for me. Um, I know I used to be vegetarian. I'm not really anymore. Like maybe like once a month I will eat meat. Um, it's not like a, it's not a big thing. But yeah, I just, uh, 
I know people are going to say something, but whatever. Um, I got a big bag of ice because... I like ice. Um, I then got some basil just because this stuff stays a lot like well stays in the cupboard a lot longer than fresh basil stays in the fridge so I got that for my dinners. I got some giant watsits and last but not least I got some wraps. These are on offer they were so cheap so got them for my lunches. Um, so yeah that is everything I picked up in my food shop. Yeah I will not need to go shopping for a very very long time now. So yeah I hope you enjoyed seeing what I got in my Tesco shop. Um, for now, I'm going to go downstairs, make another coffee and just chill out for a bit. I've got so many things to like talk to you guys about, so many updates. I think I might try and keep this video relatively short and then I might film another video tomorrow because I'm actually going out. So I'm thinking I might do a get ready with me because I'm going out like day drinking because it's bank holiday. I will talk to you guys later on when my fridge has been delivered and stuff just because like I feel like I'm on edge until it turns up. I don't want to be like in the middle of doing something and then they turn up because I need to like go and empty it quickly before they come up to the flat and oh it's I don't know it's stressful I don't like it I'm not enjoying it um but anyway I will talk to you guys later on this afternoon okay guys I am not in the best of moods to be honest with you um it is 10 past four and the guys that came to deliver my fridge freezer have just left and so not only were they running really late um but I then got told, once they'd fitted it, that I have to leave it off for five to six hours because of like the gas pressure and I'm not allowed to turn it on. So I'm like, right, okay, what am I gonna do with all my food? So I literally had a whole fridge freezer worth of food, so I'm not gonna lie, I just FaceTimed my mum and I got a bit upset because I just, I hate wasting food and like if I'd have been told that I was gonna have to do that, then I wouldn't have done a food shop recently, but I literally did a huge food shop, as you saw at the start of this video, so I put it all in there and the guy was like, oh, it will act as a t uh, cool box. I really doubt that. Like some of my stuff was already defrosted from just having it out whilst they were fitting it. So yeah, I'm really not happy. Um, but anyway, there's nothing I can do. So I'm going to try and forget about it. But anyway, I'm going to show you guys the bits that I very kindly got sent from Zaffle. You may remember that I actually worked with them on a video a while ago. They sent me some bits to share with you guys in a video and I'm working with them again. So the video isn't sponsored but the stuff is very kindly gifted and sent to me for free which I'm very grateful of. Um, I got to choose out some bits that I wanted um, in exchange for putting it in this video and also posting about the pieces on my Instagram. So I'm gonna share with you guys the bits that I chose and some of them, I'll start off with the bits you've probably already seen if you follow me on Instagram. First one is this top, which I've already worn uh, a lot and washed a lot, <laughs> um, so it's very loved already. But I absolutely love this, it's just a really cute little vest top, it's like split in half, two different colours, obviously. Um, yeah, I absolutely love it. Oh, before I forget, I have also got a discount code let me double check what it is. Okay, so my discount code is EMILYRF. I will put it on the screen here. And I'll also leave it in the description if you want to know any more. I'm also going to link uh, all of these pieces. So if you want to get yourselves any of them, you can just follow the link. Um, my battery's flashing. Today is not my day. Let's try that again, shall we? Um, I've just got back from town. My camera is now charged. And I'm going to continue showing you guys what I got from Zaffle finally actually get round to it um yeah so like you said discount code will be on the screen and also down in the description box um yeah love this top can't really talk about it anymore the next little vest top i got which again i have worn so many times and i am obsessed with is this how cute i'm sorry but it's just adorable um oh also if you want to know what sizing i got i thought i'd tell you that as well because it might be useful i got a small in this blue one and then I got a medium in this one. And I don't really remember ordering medium, but it fits perfectly fine. Like it is quite small. I think their sizes tend to come up quite small. Um, but yeah, this is a gorgeous little brown vest. I don't really own anything brown. And I know that brown is like really in at the moment. So I thought I would get this. And yeah, I've just been wearing this again every single day with like a pair of jeans. Just looks super cute. It's got a little heart on the front. Um, and yeah, really soft, really nice. They've both washed really well. So really impressed with the quality of those. Um, I'm going to kind of keep it in little categories and I'm just going to do tops to start with. I'm so bloody excited for this one. I haven't actually worn it yet. I have still got the label on it. But I got this really cute little cow print top. I'm sorry, but how adorable is that? I'm just waiting for it to be a little bit more sunny so that I can wear it. 
um but yeah i absolutely loved this in my last saffle haul i got like a leopard print one that's the same basically um it just had spaghetti straps rather than these like thicker elastic ones but yeah i'm honestly buzzing to wear this like it just looks so cute and i cannot wait to style it and wear it so this will 100 percent be over on my instagram at some point okay what's up next have i got any more tops yeah i've got this cute top here which isn't really my kind of thing but i saw it and i was like you know what i'm gonna I'm going to go for something a bit different. I went for this little top, which is like a little cute, like very girly and feminine um, little, I don't really know how you describe it, but I think it's super cute. It's like a little, excuse my armpits, sorry about that. It's like a really cute little like black top. It's got like a ruched, elasticated bit around the boob area and then it's got a tie bit on the sides. But yeah, I just think this is super cute and something a little bit different. So really excited to wear that. It's like a very jeans and a nice top moment you know okay next up um i've got a couple of skirts so the first one is this one which again i haven't worn because i've got the label on it still but it's a really sweet little like zebra print um skirt the material is really strange and i don't know what what it is for the life of me but it's like really soft material um it's got a cute little slit in it as well and yeah this one's really really cute again i'm waiting for a bit more sun to wear this because right now my pasty legs are not being shown to anybody um because they need some fake tan on them and they need to be shaved uh, but anyway yeah i absolutely love this i think it's super cute got it in a small oh i forgot to say the black top i think i also got in a small as well yeah that one's in a small um but yeah this is really nice the slit on the side is like really flattering it's a really really great length and yeah i think it's super nice they've got really nice skirts on there like i honestly just love zaffle stuff like genuinely um i think they've got so many nice pieces on there i never ever struggle to find things that i love and i just think it's i don't know i i struggle where to buy my clothes from these days i feel like a lot of places i like to buy them from um just don't really like don't really do what i want anymore you know my style is changing a bit and i think now we're out of lockdown or coming out of lockdown and like going out and about doing more things my style is changing and i've got like a different thing in my head of how i want to look anyway next up we've got another skirt this one is quite girly again but i saw it and i thought you know what i reckon with like some doc martens i can make this my kind of style um the label's already off it and i have actually had to get my mum to like stitch it up because it was too big for me it was really big around the waist and this is a small so i think the size is a little bit variant is that the right word i don't know it just depends what you get um the sizes can vary but yeah again cute little skirt with a little slit on the front but i just love the colors on this so it's green purple and orange which are my three favorite colors like can you see the colors in that i just think it's so sweet and yeah really nice material um it's not like not too see-through either so that's always a bonus but yeah like i said i got my mum to stitch it up because it didn't fit me before but now it does so cute little skirt for when it gets warmer um next up i've got another top and i honestly i'm so sad about this because it doesn't fit me properly and i don't know what to do um but i had to get it in a medium and i ideally would have got it in a small because i am a small in like pretty much everything else but they only had it in a medium and i wanted it so badly that i just got it in a in a medium but it is it is far too big but i just had to get it so i don't know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna try and fix it i'm gonna try and do something because i want to wear this so bad it reminds me of the top i had when i was a little kid and i am just so in love with it it's like a velour halter neck top with stars on it like i'm sorry about how cute like i'm actually in love with it and i'm just so sad it doesn't fit like it fits from the front like i can kind of wear it and I don't really know how to show you this it's very tricky i can like wear it and it looks okay at the front so like in a picture it will look fine but it's just the back is like huge and really baggy um so at least i can take cute pictures in it i might just not be able to wear it out but i just i'm obsessed like the material is just super cute I like little velour little velour top i love it i'm obsessed um okay let's continue with the theme of like starry things i got a dress which is very unlike me um and this fits really really well and i love it and i cannot wait to wear it again um i feel like this is a good dress to have this time of year because it's not like it's not very summery like i could probably wear this now with like tights and i don't want to say tights and boots because that sounds a bit it doesn't really sound very nice but i don't know i feel like i might be able to wear it soon um it's this black starry dress now i think it looks a lot nicer on than it does like when it's not on um but it's got 
adjustable straps which is amazing for a small person like myself i got this in a small still got the label on it um but yeah it's just a really gorgeous length i'm pretty sure this has got a slit yeah this has also got a slit on the leg i love how they do that i think it makes the design of things look so much nicer and a lot more expensive than they actually are because obviously zaffle stuff is really affordable but yeah it's a really cute dress fits me really well um it's just got like a little square neck bit so yeah i'm really excited to be able to wear this because i always love it when i find a dress i actually like because it's very rare when that happens um next i've got these trousers which i'm obsessed with and i still can't decide if they are supposed to be pajama bottoms or just trousers now they are slightly see-through so i think i might not be able to wear them out but i'm thinking like summer or a festival i probably could get away with it but like just a trip to the pub i probably can't um got these to small but i just love them so much but for now i think they're gonna have to stay as pajamas they are these amazing amazing cow print trousers is it are they cow is it cow print or is it leopard print i'm actually unsure um but yeah, they're like cinched in at the waist, elasticated waist, and then they just go straight down and they're really flattering and I love them and I want to wear them out all of the time, but I think I am just going to stick to them being pyjamas for the moment. They've also got pockets, which I love, makes them feel a lot more luxury than they actually are. Um, also, funnily enough, they match this little top like perfectly and I didn't actually do that on purpose. I ordered them at completely different like times i kind of like put my order together over a couple of days and i actually didn't realize that these two match but they literally match perfectly so i could actually wear them as like a a combo you know but anyway obsessed with them i feel like the material of them makes them feel more like pajamas because they're like a very soft kind of pajama -y feel um so we'll see i will try and wear them out but they may stay as pajamas next up we've got three more things um we've got this hoodie which i really really like i haven't worn it yet because it's it's i don't know it's not really the color that i was expecting i thought it was going to be more cream but it's very yellow and i don't really feel like i can wear this sort of color and pull it off because it is literally the same color as my hair so i just kind of blend into one like it's it's like a lemon yellow but it was supposed to be cream this hoodie so i got it because you you guys may know you've seen the you know i think this is like a dupe for um the fear fear Ichi, whatever it's called jumpers um so i've seen a lot of people wearing jumpers like this from like nasty girl motel rocks and stuff and obviously this one was a lot more affordable um so i decided to get this it feels amazing it feels so soft like it is literally the softest jumper ever um and i love 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 the writing on it, it says angel um so i love that i just i'm really unsure about the color and i just think i'm gonna have to wait until i'm like either really tanned or until i like dye my hair or something because right now i'm just unsure like i just don't feel like it's a vibe for, for my skin color anyway um but i do really like that jumper so yeah just a bit sad about the color then we have something that is very strange because i don't actually remember ordering this um <laughs> i feel like i remember looking at I feel like I remember looking at it, but I don't remember ordering it. So, yeah, I don't know. And again, it's very, it's not, it's not what I was hoping for, to be honest. Um, if I did order this on purpose, it's because I would have thought it would be like a thick hoodie, like a really thick, cosy, comfy jumper. But it's the thinnest thing in the world. It's not even really like a hoodie. Like it's, can, can you see how thin that is? It looks like this, it's got the little angel on it, which I actually don't, I'm not mad at. Like I don't hate that um it says holy angels <laughs> and i get the vibe they're going for and i really like it it's, it is like a motel rocks kind of vibe and i love it but it's just i don't know i i quite like the color of this one like i'm not mad at the color it does kind of wash me out a bit though i'm not gonna lie um it's just it's so thin and i i really didn't expect it to be this thin like honestly you can almost see through it like it's not a hoodie like it really isn't a hoodie it's like more of like a I don't really know. I feel like you'd like wear it if you went to the gym or something and I don't go to the gym so I'm not sure. I haven't actually tried this on so I will try it on and I'll see what I think. Um, but yeah I'm just not like not 100% sold on it. And then the last thing is something that I really like and this is a shirt. Um, so it's quite a funky little funky little shirt but you guys know I love shirts and I literally live in like corduroy shirts. And this one's really fun because look one half of it is like this beautiful like check print. It's really nice material. And then the other half it's just like beige so it's like a split split down the front kind of shirt 
situation. Um, again, from the photos online, I did think it was going to be thicker, and I thought it would be more of like a shacket situation, but it's not. It is literally just a shirt, um, which is fine. I still love it. I'm still vibing with it. So yeah, really like that. I love the colours. I think the colours are really gorgeous. Um, what size did I get that in? A small. I think I got everything in a small, apart from like two things. But yeah, anyway, they are the bits that I picked up from Zaffle. Well, I was very kindly gifted from Zaffle. So thank you so much, guys, if you are watching this. Um, I really love everything and I cannot wait to style it all over on my Instagram. You guys watching, make sure you are following me on Instagram for pictures of this stuff. Don't forget to check out the description if you want any links to anything. And uh, don't forget to use my discount code for 18% off. You guys really should check out Zaffle. Um, I think they've got some really great pieces on there, especially for summer coming up. And if you want to like switch up your style or anything, they've got really gorgeous stuff i just want to do another order just full of tops because i genuinely love all of the tops so much um i feel like they always fit me really well and just super cute style so yeah absolutely obsessed with those i am now going to go downstairs and chill out it's literally like gone five o'clock and i'd usually be having my dinner soon but i don't even know what i'm gonna do for dinner because all my stuff's ruined and i'm really mad about it <laughs> i might have to get takeaway oh actually also before i go I want to talk to you guys about something so come with me let's go to the other room so just super quickly before i forget because i wanted to mention this in a video for a really long time and i keep forgetting um but a couple of months ago i was very kindly gifted these oh, i got more of them yeah these uh monthly patches oh sorry you're very wobbly on there aren't you um, yeah, I was very kindly gifted these monthly period patches from the company BU. I will leave them in the description as well below because you should definitely check them out. But basically, I actually contacted these guys and I asked if I could try some of these because I really, really, really struggle with bad period pains. Um, if you don't want to listen about periods, you can skip ahead a few minutes. Um, but anyway, yeah, I really struggle with bad period pains and I always have to take like paracetamol and I just always feel really poorly when I'm on my period. Um, and I saw Charlotte my friend charlotte emily talking about these on her instagram so i decided to contact them and i asked if i could try it and obviously share with you guys if it works and i'm not even kidding these are the best things ever um and i wanted to like vlog whilst i was actually using them but my last period was really weird and i was only on for like two days so and i was working both of those days so i couldn't really film anything so yeah i'm talking to you guys about it now and i can't actually show you but i will show you what they look like because i can still show you without actually using one they're vegan cruelty free no nasties biodegradable um you get five in each pack and i didn't even i didn't even finish using this pack or did i are they all gone oh yeah they are all gone <laughs> i'll open the next oh my computer's turning on I'll open this packet to show you me. I am definitely going to be ordering some more when I run out because they are just such a great thing to have, like to hand when you're on your period if you get bad period pains. I did still have to take paracetamol once, but they're just, oh, I love the smell. They smell like minty and like kind of a little bit, a little bit tea tree-ish, but mostly just like really, really minty. And they're basically like giant plasters. Let me show you. So clever. I just didn't know anything like this actually existed. And yeah, they've just really changed the game for me. Um, right, so they look like this. Literally looks like a giant plaster. Um, and you peel the back off and then you literally, let me show you. I mean, I'm not actually gonna show you, but you just stick it like down here, like where you get your period cramps. And honestly, it is just like, the nicest sensation ever like it makes your skin feel really cool and it just like yeah it's just got a really nice cooling effect and i think you can leave them on like most of the day i literally do i put one on in the morning and i take it off like in the afternoon when it's sort of stopped working don't really know released over 12 hours yes yeah, so you can literally leave it on that like, all day um you can't see them obviously they're really comfortable they don't hurt your skin or anything to peel off like they're just they're honestly a lifesaver and if you get bad period pains i couldn't suggest them more because it's just nice to have that as well as like obviously you can take paracetamol and stuff which will help with the pain but these are just really comforting and it just feels really nice on your on your skin and I, yeah i don't know i just really really love them my honest opinion is that they are really good and definitely something to invest in and um check out if you do struggle with period pains because i am 100 going to be ordering some more of these i think they're great i'm so happy i came across them and i tell all my friends about them so yeah i think you guys should check them out too um anyway that is it for talking about 
gifted and sent things so no not everybody is into that but um i like to share things with you guys that i am enjoying and i'm loving and i just want to reiterate that i would never like talk about something if i actually didn't like it um i wouldn't say yes to something if i didn't want to be sent it um but yeah thank you so much guys for watching i hope you enjoyed check out all of the links and stuff down below if you got this far in the video leave me the white heart emoji that's like my current favorite one so leave me the white heart emoji if you got this far and i will reply to you i reply to everyone but i will definitely reply to you if you leave that okay i'm rambling rambling i'm going i'll speak to you all very soon goodbye